Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a reading on how the micro moon is going to be affecting you. Now the micro moon is when the moon's orbit is furthest away from the earth, and this has a great impact on your psyche and the way that you're looking at things. So I want to see how this micro new moon is going to be affecting you, Scorpio. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way that you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up and you're taking this little baby channel and you're growing it bigger and bigger and bigger. So thank you so much. You guys are absolutely amazing. This is so beautiful. I mean, I love reading for you and I know I'm gushing and I know I gush every single time, but I really didn't think that when I started that anybody was going to listen. And now that I have you guys joining and subscribing, you know, commenting that we built this family. It's just so wonderful and it's so, it's overwhelming. So I want to thank you guys so much for that. Whether you're new or old to this channel, you are absolutely amazing. If you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, let's see how this micro moon of February 4th, 2019 will be affecting you. How the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affects Scorpio. How will the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affect Scorpio? Scorpio. Show me clearly, show me clearly. How the micro moon of February 4th, 2019 affects Scorpio. Fantastic. Okay, Six of Swords. Oh, the star card. I love it. Aquarius energy around you. The Empress. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. The Emperor. Goodness. And the Eight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is beautiful because you are walking away from something that you're like, no go, no more, I'm done. And that's what this micro moon is doing for you. It is showing you that you have the knowledge, you have the understanding, the angels are guiding you, and you're walking away from something that, again, you're just like, no more. I don't want this in my life anymore. The Eight of Cups, for me, that's an ending card. It can be a divorce. It can be you know, an ending of a relationship, but I see this beautiful relationship here with the Empress and the Emperor. Whenever I have the same, the King and Queen of the same suit in the same reading, that's a soulmate connection. The fact that you have the Empress and the Emperor here, that's even bigger. So this doesn't mean that you have to be falling in love or that you will be falling in love on February 4th or around February 4th. This is saying here that you could very well be you could very well be embracing the love that you want, the way that you want to move forward. This is also a connection of your soul, the masculine and the feminine, but there's just a sense of harmony here. There's a sense of the universe aligning you to meet somebody, if you're looking to meet somebody, to meet somebody who is very, very special to you and who will be very special to you as you move on. You might say, when are you going to do it? Six. A six count, six days, six weeks, six months. You'll be meeting this person. I could say six years. That seems a bit extreme. And I don't think it's six years, but I want to put that out there because I remember I had a reading and I know I'd say this and the person was like three, oh my gosh, you're meeting the person in like three days. It's going to be amazing. It was three years later that what they said wound up coming true. So that was kind of cool. The way that the time worked and the way that she saw it was so prevalent and so much in the now that that's what I see here with this connection. It's so much in the now for you. It's, it's just here. And that's what this micro moon is giving to you. It's giving you a gift of moving you forward, of after struggle, after hardship, after pain, seeing the prosperity that you want within your life. And what's beautiful is you have Branwyn and you have Bran the Blessed here. Branwyn is the sister of Bran the Blessed. He's the one that rescues her. So I'm not saying that this is like a white knight situation, that you're being rescued, but I am saying that there's a sense here of things falling into alignment and times of struggle coming to an end because you are moving on. Now your first card here is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is knowing your mind, knowing what it is that you want, and embracing the way that you are moving forward. The angels are blessing you as you move forward. The angels are absolutely right there with you. Never ever doubt, Scorpio, that they're not. There's a sense of the unknown and you embracing the unknown. You're like, okay, 
you know what, I can't stay here anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I can't do it. Now it's time to move on. Now it's time to go after what it is that I want. There's a sense of prosperity here and beauty leading you forward, even though at times you're not going to see it. Don't be afraid as, as you move forward is what the card is telling me to say. Embrace what it is that you want because you will be set free. Here with the star, this is your soul's wish. This is what you desire moving you forward. This is you looking at a situation and saying, after struggle, after hardship, this is what I want. And you've doubted that it will ever come. Now you are seeing and saying, it's my time. Because this is the universe hearing you right here as you set your heart's wish out. Because as I say, and I've told the story of Brandwin a thousand times, very much mirrors the story of Rhiannon here. What these two have in common is that they were both princesses, become queens, and they were both treated horribly. Branwen, she becomes the queen of Ireland. She moves to her new home. She thinks everything's going to be great. The king of Ireland, his men can't let go of slight that her stepbrother did to them. And she's made to pay for it. She's cast down. She's Her title of queen is taken away from her. She's given to work as a scullery maid. And the cook is told to box her ears every single day. And she lives in such despair, such sorrow, that she teaches this little bird here how to speak, to send a message to her brother Bran so that he can come and save her. And he does. Now, the story of Branwen is not a happy story, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we are talking about is that moment of hope, is that moment of the universe hearing your wish and it guiding you forward, it being granted, and you being set free. And then you have Rhiannon. And Rhiannon was a fairy princess. She falls in love with this king of Wales. And they get married and they are celebrated. But she is an outsider just like Branwen is. So there's a sense here of being an outsider. Of feeling as if you don't belong. That's why you're moving on. Because you will belong where it is that you want to be. And I know that sounds odd and oddly, you know, flippant. You will belong where you want to be. You will belong as you keep on moving forward towards what it is that you want. This sense of feeling like an outsider is not going to last forever, Scorpio. So do know that. But this is with Rhiannon after struggle, after hardship. She, as I've told the story a thousand times, she, the midwives, she was pregnant and everybody was celebrating because they had wanted a child for the king and queen and it took them years to have one. And then the baby gets stolen from the bedside and the midwives say, you know what, better she gets punished than we get punished. Now the king loved her too much to kill her, which would have been her punishment. So he cast her down and he said, you're going to sit at the castle gates and you're going to live as a beggar. And anybody who asks what you have done to deserve to sit there, you're going to have to tell them how you killed your child. They said that she ate him. And then if they want, you have to carry them on your back to the palace gates to the palace doors and then go back to your spot. And that's how she lived her life for years. Her son wasn't killed. He was stolen away by an evil beast and he was fostered in a neighboring kingdom that was very close to her kingdom. And they heard about the loss and they found the boy the next day and they found it suspicious, but they didn't think anything of it. And then the boy grew very, very fast, which would show the mother's fey blood in him. And they see that he looks exactly like his father. There's no doubting whatsoever that it's the king's son. And so he goes to court and his mother is exonerated and it's given her rightful place on the throne again. This is saying that you are moving forward, that even though you have been cast low, you will rise high, Scorpio. And the micro moon is helping you do that. The micro moon is helping you move forward. It's giving you the energy and it's giving you the sense that you are being listened to. You have the Emperor and you have the Eight of Cups. The Emperor is the one who saved. Branwen is the one, is the connection with the Empress. So this is moving forward in passion. This is also a fire sign in Aries here. This is having great passion as you're leaving behind what no longer fits. 
knowing what it is that you, des that you desire, knowing where it is that you want to be. So there's a sense of passion leading you away from sorrow and strife to embrace the life that you want, moving forward with the angels blessing you, saying no more. There's an ending, and it isn't a bad ending. For a lot of you, you might mourn the ending, but it is going to be beautiful. And for others of you, you're going to be like, thank God it's over. And you're moving forward with a sense of freedom, with a sense of prosperity getting you. Your subconscious message, the Ten of Swords, you're going to feel like it's too much. And we can see that from the story of Bramwin, from the story of Rhiannon, is that it's going to feel as if it's too much. This is the darkness before the dawn. Keep on moving forward. Do not be overwhelmed by your emotions. You're going to be very sensitive during this new moon time. Feel those emotions. Be honest with yourself. You know, let them out and know that you aren't trapped, Scorpio. And you will never be trapped again. All right. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Bye.